Hello my students for 0620 syllabus. Today we will start with uh, paper 4-2, February, March, uh, paper 4. Okay, in this paper, the first question, it talks about or give us a table and this table shows the number of subparticles, protons and neutrons and electrons in the particles A to I. Uh, for A to I, we have the protons and the neutrons and the electrons number. Then he is asking you to answer the following questions in our about, about particles A to I. Each letter may be used once, more than once, or not at all. First question, part A, state which of the particles A to I is an anion, and the anion is the negative ion. So the negative ion has more electrons than its protons. So if you look at A, it is one, zero, so there is more proton. For B, they are equal. For C, also the protons and the electrons are equal. For D, electrons and the protons are equal also. E, 16 and 18. So you can see there. Okay. You can see, for example. Okay, you can see that there are 18 electrons while we have what? 16 protons. So this means that we have an anion, which is negatively charged, it's negative two. And where we have this case also, only in E. So you can find it for first one, it's E, because we have 18 electrons. And R cations, for cations, you can see, the protons are greater than uh, neutron, uh, electrons, where we find this. You can see here the protons for I is a greater. And for which one we have a greater uh, protons? I is one of them. We have 19, 19, we have 18, 18, we have 17, 17, 16, 18, we have 10, 10. We have six, 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 okay. Here we have one and here we have zero. So E and I are protons. So A and I are protons. Now, are noble gas atoms? The noble gas atoms has full outer shell. So two, four, two, four, two, eight. So it's noble gas, two, eight, eight, Eight. So this one is noble gas, this one is noble, uh, no, this one is noble gas because protons, and the second one is not, this one, this one is not, so the noble gas only D till now. Here we have 18 protons and 18 electrons, its electronic uh, structure is 288, and here we have 28, so the full outer shell are uh, D and G. So we can write D and G. Okay, is a halogen atom. The halogen means that we are in a group 7A or it's in group 17, the halogens. So which one of these elements is from group 17? You will uh, see where we have two seven, so that's from a group seventeen. So F, which is two eight seven, who's also, and here we have two eight nine is not two eight eight two. Eight, uh, no, none of these. Only this one is from the halogens. So F is the element which is from the halogens. Is a group one atom. Group 1 atom has only one electron in its outer shell. So you will see 2, 8, 8, 
one that's from a group one so h is from group one have the same nuclear numbers nuclear number protons and the neutrons so we will see here zero one six 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 eight okay no ten ten and here we have 16, 16, 18, 17, 35, 22 plus 18. So we are talking about 30, 40. We have 39 and here we have 40. You can see those are the same nucleon numbers since they are when you add the protons and the neutrons, you will get the same number. So the letters are G and I. Now, causes the acidity in the aqueous solution. Okay, the acidity means that it is a non-metal oxide. And you will see here we have two, it's six, so this is carbon, two and four. Two and four for another one. All these, this is a metal, this is noble gas, and here this one has positive two, so it's two eight. Okay, so we are talking about two eight, uh, two as an element, so it's a metal, it will. Not worry. So which one will cause the acidity? Here we have 17, 16. So we're talking about 2, 8, and 6. So this is an oxygen. This is an ion element. So only carbon dioxide. Let me check if, the, if there is any other element that's a chlorine. That's what sulfur, where we have two, eight, and six. So maybe E because it's a sulfur element and it causes the acidity of the aqueous solution. The acidity means that it is uh, for the aqueous solution. So CO2 causes the acidity of Echo solution. So when it reacts, it will uh, cause what? It will cause the formation of the acid. Let me check the acidity. When of these will cause the acidity of echo solution. So it will react with SO2. So it will be 16E. Okay. Now for Next one, it is used to define the relative atomic mass. It's carbon. Which one is carbon? Uh, so that's one, carbon 12, it's B. Since it is carbon 12. And explain why B, C are isotopes of the same element. They have the same proton number but they have different number of neutrons. Okay. Like that, we finished the first question. For the second question also, he gave you hydrogen, nitrogen, and oxygen. Those elements are gases at room temperature and the pressure state at which one of these gases is a green. So it is chlorine gas. Can change the color. Okay, so it is chlorine gas. The gases shown exist as a diatomic molecule. State the name of another element which has the diatomic molecule and is a gas at room 
temperature and pressure. So all these, yani the gases shown, exist as a diatomic molecule. Here we have hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, and element has a diatomic molecule as present as uh, gone. To remind yourself for the diatomic gases, I brought clay for our new house. So if you mentioned uh, fluorine gas, which is pale yellow gas, it works. So iodine, bromine is a liquid, chlorine is a gas, and it's mentioned. Oxygen is mentioned, nitrogen mentioned. So only the gas which is diatomic is fluorine gas. Now when separate samples of each of these gases are placed in a container, they will diffuse. So why these gases diffuse? Because they have low attraction force between molecules. Why they these gases diffuse? All these gases, when the sample of each of these gases, they have low or weak, low or weak inter intermolecular attraction between its particles since they are separated a lot. State which of these four gases has the highest rate of diffusion. So you will select one, hydrogen, nitrogen, and oxygen. He's asking about the highest rate. It's what? It's hydrogen. Why it's hydrogen? Because it has the least molar mass. Okay. Nitrogen, oxygen, and other substances are found in a clean, dry air, say the percentage of nitrogen in a clean, dry air, so it is 78%. Other than nitrogen and oxygen, identify the element found in uh, dry, clean air. We have carbon dioxide. You can write the formula or you can write its name, carbon dioxide. Maybe also argon can be present. Oh, sorry, he said element, so carbon dioxide is not an element, so you shall answer it like that. The correct answer is argon is asking you an element, not carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is a molecule. Okay, identify the compound found in dry clean air. As I told you, that's carbon dioxide. Okay, nitrogen and oxygen can be separated from liquid air say the name of this process, where you have a liquid with different boiling point substances, you shall use the fractional distillation, which depends on the difference in the boiling, in the boiling point. Okay, the third question is, the third question is about the helper process for the manufacturing of ammonia. Name this industrial process, which is related for the manufacture of ammonia, it's helper process. 
state the meaning of simple double head arrows to different uh, sides. So the double head arrows for different sides is uh, it's for the reversible reaction. This means that we have reversible reaction that can ta take place in both directions. Or if you said a dynamic equilibrium, since those are double head arrows, which they are uh, equal, the dynamic quality. Say the conditions used in this industrial process. Here you shall memorize some things in chemistry. You shall memorize them. So we are talking about 450 degrees and the pressure is 200 ATM. Okay. Name the catalyst used in this process. It's iron. Now, if the pressure is increased, the yield of ammonia increases. Explain why in terms of qualparium. We have two marks. So for the two marks, the reaction or the qualparium is shifted to shifts to the right hand side because because to the side of lower gas or gases molds that's very important when you are talking about the effect of the factor. If the temperature is increased, the rate of reaction increases. Explain, explain that in terms of the particles, we can say increasing temperature particles move faster you should write your answer in a paragraph way here i gave you the notation so you are smart students you can write increasing the temperature will uh, increase the velocity of the particles so they collide more frequently to have more successful collagens and there are higher number of particles which they have E A or greater. That's what you shall write. Yani the particles which they have enough energy, the amount of activation energy or higher were increased in the particles. That's why you have the three marks. My students, focus. Ammonia reacts with sulfuric acid to make a compound which is used as a fertilizer. Write the chemical equation for the reaction between ammonia and sulfuric acid. It's a chemical equation without a state symbol, so just write NH3 as a base with H2SO4 as an acid. This will give us NH4, that's ammonium sulfate, but you shall write or you shall balance your equation like that.
You have eight hydrogens, two nitrogens, and one sulfate. And this is your what? Your fertilizer. Question four. Student so wanted to make some zinc chloride crystals. Zinc chloride crystal is ZnCl2. Okay, the students follow the procedure shown. Step one, add excess zinc powder to dilute hydrochloric acid. You should read the instructions very well for when you answer like these questions. Remove the unreacted zinc powder from the aqueous zinc chloride. Heat the solution until it is saturated. Allow the saturated solution to cool and remove the crystals. That's the crystallization process. Write the equation for the reaction in step one. In step one, we have zinc powder to dilute hydrochloric acid. So Zn, which is solid, plus includes the state symbols. So plus two HCl and it is AQ, give us ZnCl2, and here he is asking you to write the state symbols because he wants you to know if the zinc chloride is in aqueous solution or soluble or not. So we have H2 gas. Why we have a three marks, my son? Because he is asking you to write the equation, and the equation shall be balanced, and three, the state symbols are correct. Say why the excess zinc powder is added to make sure that all acid react. All the quantity of acid were reacted. So just how the unreacted zinc powder is removed. Okay, that's very easy because it's a solid and it, and it is insoluble. So it's by filtration and we have only one mark. Saturated solution is formed in step three. So just what is meant by the term saturated solution. It's the solution that can't dissolve excess or extra solute at the or at that temperature or at a specific Temperature, you know, because the solubility is dependent on what? On the temperature. Explain why the crystals forms as a solution cools in a step since the solubility decreases and there is a formation and the solid appears, and the solid or the extra solid crystallize. Excellent. Name two zinc compounds which react with dilute hydrochloric acid to form zinc chloride. You should return back to the reactions of acid with what? With the or the main reactions of acids. We are talking about metal, metal oxide, for example, zinc oxide can be used, zinc hydroxide can be used, hydroxide, or you can use zinc carbonate, zinc carbonate. Okay, for part G, if excess calcium metal is used instead of excess zinc powder, in step one, pure calcium chloride crystals do not form. What's the difference between calcium and 
uh, zinc, the calcium is highly reactive. So if you return back to the reactivity series, you will find the calcium reacts with water while zinc do not react. Only it reacts with an acid. My lovely students, that's everything for this part in video one for paper February, March 4 to uh, 2021. Follow us in the following video to complete this paper.